Hey everybody, you know one of the founding tenets of Deer and Deer Hunting Magazine was shot placement and deer anatomy. The more you know about deer anatomy, the better shot you can make on a deer and the better hunter you can become because you can be more efficient. Whitetail Details was in book form. It was an acetate overlay that showed us the deer's organs, skeletal system, and nervous system and how they all came together. It was a great teaching tool for hunters, especially new hunters, as to where to place their bullet or arrow. Today we have things like this Reinhardt target. Now this isn't 100% accurate, but it's pretty darn close. It shows us the bone structure, it shows us the stomach cavity, it shows us the thoracic cavity, and it shows us the organs. One of the organs that has always fascinated me on the deer is the liver. Because the liver, especially in a liver shot, there's always kind of an unknown there. And there's certain things that you need to know about a deer's liver so you can trail that deer and find it quickly. The thing that's interesting and a little bit tricky about the whitetail liver is it sits right behind the lungs and right in front of the intestines, right next to the paunch. What does this mean? As I've said many times, and I cannot emphasize this enough, two cavities, you have to think about that. When you put your arrow through a deer, you might say, I put it through the deer's chest cavity. What part of the chest cavity? The chest cavity in and of itself is the thoracic cavity right here. That includes the boiler room. The lungs, the heart, and the liver's right here. The intestinal cavity, what we often refer to as a gut shot, is actually two different parts. Are you talking about the intestines themselves or the paunch? There's a big difference there, especially when you're going to trail your deer. But when it comes to the liver, it's kind of the same as a gut shot. When you have a liver shot, you have to approach it like a lung shot because it all comes down to how much blood is in that organ as opposed to the other organs of the deer's body. So what we have here is a perfect representation of the deer's internal organs. You have the trachea, leads to the esophagus, hooks up to the lungs, and right here you have the diaphragm. The diaphragm is a thin membrane, it looks like a fleshy lining that separates the thoracic cavity from the stomach cavity. Inside the stomach cavity you have the rumen, that's where the food comes in to stay, and then once the food leaves the rumen it goes into the intestinal tract. This is what was truly a gut shot. When we talk about a gut shot, it's through the intestines. The liver sits perpendicular right here. It doesn't cover the entire side, and that's one thing you have to keep in mind. It doesn't fit equally across that inside cavity. It sits to one side. Think about it as like a deflated football. That's what you're thinking about when you're looking at the liver. It's about that thick on a mature deer, and it's about that big, about the size of a paper plate. It's sitting in there keys to a liver hit are kind of tricky because the way the liver sits in there it's right next to the lungs so a lot of times you're not getting a perfect arrow right through the liver most times you might be catching part of a lung you might be catching part of both lungs and the liver or you might be going through just part of the liver and then the intestines that makes it hard but things on the ground are going to be telltale signs dark blood opaque colored blood maroonish colored blood those are signs of a liver hit. So let's talk about blood for a minute. But first, let's talk about blood volume. That's what I have set up here right now. What we have here is a couple examples. The first example, 128 ounces. That's a gallon jug. That's approximately how much blood is in an average size deer's circulatory system as it's walking around, living and breathing. That much blood. It's a lot of blood. What about these three bottles I have here? We know through scientific research that a deer has to lose about 35% blood volume before that deer is going to fall quickly, depending upon how fast the deer is running after the shot. So it's got to lose about three of these, about 45 ounces. Okay, so we have that established. About a gallon of blood in a deer circulatory system. A deer needs to lose about 45 ounces before it's going to die quickly. And here's a bottle right here. We're going to call that about 13 or 14 ounces of fluid. That's how much blood is running through a deer's liver at any given time. That's an important thing to note because on a deer's liver, that's a lot of blood, but we have another overlay here of the circulatory system. Now when we look at the circulatory system and we kind of know where that liver is, that liver is about right here. And now you're going to see there's a main artery coming down that's going to lead to what eventually is the femoral artery here. But that's where the liver sits. So if you get a broad head or a bullet through that area, you're going to disrupt probably that main artery and a bunch of other veins. 
And that's why we always say you have to give a gut shot deer a long time to expire. They're going to die. You put an arrow through that deer's stomach, it's going to die. But we always say 10 hours. Is it going to take 10 hours for that deer to die? Normally, no. It's normally going to die a lot sooner than that. On a liver shot deer, kind of the same tactic. If you suspect a liver, how do you suspect a liver shot? Number one, you see your arrow, you think your arrow went a little far back. That's a telltale sign. Number two, that deer kind of hunches up and just walks off. That's a sign of a gut shot normally, but a lot in the time of a, of a liver shot as well. I've trailed over 400 deer in my lifetime, so I kind of have a good feel for what liver blood looks like. Where did that arrow hit? What did the blood look like? How did the deer react? And where did it go? In those cases, on a liver shot deer, if I suspect a liver shot deer, I'm backing out for at least four hours. Might be overkill, that deer might be dead within 20 minutes. Chances are, if I center punch that liver, that deer's going to be dead within 10 minutes. Easy. Probably within five. These are some things you need to keep in mind. Always take mental notes because blood trailing requires intense mental focus to get it right. The Sever Titanium 2.1 is a premium rear deploy broadhead with exclusive features, including patented lock and pivot blades that allow the blades to stay open throughout flight and then pivot when they come in contact with their target. Sever's stretch cut blade effect stretches the hide while cutting for a larger than blade wound diameter. This means bigger blood trails and easier recovery. Look at that shot. The entry and exit wounds are simply devastating. The sharpened blades sit inside the ferrule before flight and also have the option of a practice lock which allows the shooter to shoot the broadhead into targets without doling or wrecking the blades. For more information, go to severbroadheads.com.